In this video, we're going to talk about ventilation and you're going to learn four basic steps to remember how to ventilate any appliance. It's a lot easier than you think it is. There are four types of appliance with regard to ventilation. The first type is open fluid. The second type is flueless. The third type is room sealed. And lastly, you've got appliances in a compartment. When you're looking to calculate the ventilation for any appliance, this is, you must put it in one of these categories. So let's look at open fluid appliances. You take the kilowatt of the appliance, you minus seven from the kilowatt, and whatever you've got remaining, you times by five. And that will give you your ventilation requirement in centimeters squared. However, every gas book will have a ready reckoner or a chart that will explain it all for you and that you can quickly work out the ventilation requirements. For example, here we've got a 14 kilowatt net appliance and you can see that it requires 35 centimeters squared of ventilation. Don't forget when you're working out your ventilations that you must know whether it's gross or net. Flueless appliances need to have the room measured. This is because their products of combustion come back into the room. So the size of the room has a great impact on the ventilation required for the appliance. If the room's too small, the appliance will end up using old products of combustion to try and feed its flame and that will lead to carbon monoxide production. So you must take account of the size of the room with a flueless appliance. You do this by multiplying the width, the length, and the height of the room together in meters. And then when you get the result, for example, 20 square meters, you then apply this to the flueless chart in your gas book. You simply look for the appliance type, you look for the size of the room, you go along one line until it meets the other, and that will tell you how much ventilation is required for your flueless appliance. Room sealed appliances are the easiest of them all because they require no ventilation at all as long as they're not in a cupboard or compartment. If they're just hanging on the wall in a room, they require no ventilation at all. The 
the last category, the fourth category, are appliances which have been placed in a compartment. Room sealed appliances need ventilation if they're in a compartment because they need to be cooled. If there's no ventilation, they will get too hot and malfunction. There are rules for open fluid appliances in a compartment. And these rules are different if the air comes into the compartment from outside and if the air comes into the compartment from a room. The ventilation requirements are different. Room sealed appliances follow the same rules. If the air is coming from the outside, the ventilation requirements are different from if the, the air is coming from a room. Also, with appliances in a compartment, they require both high and low level ventilation. This allows cool air to go in at the bottom, cool the appliance, and then the warm air to leave at the top. There are rules and calculations to carry out. However, all books have got a ready reckoner, a chart, which will show you the ventilation requirements under any of those cir circumstances. You simply look at the kilowatts, you see whether the appliance is open fluid or room sealed and whether it's vented to the outside or vented into a room. And then as before with the flueless chart, you go down, you line both up and it gives you the result for your high and low ventilation. Very simple chart. Flueless appliances, for obvious reasons, cannot be placed in a compartment. So, to sum everything up, four simple rules. For open fluid appliances, you take the kilowatts, you take away seven kilowatt and whatever you've got left, you times by five. That will leave you with the size of your ventilation in centimeters squared. For flueless appliances, use the flueless chart. For room sealed appliances, you don't need any ventilation. And for appliances in a compartment, use the chart. Quite simple, not as complicated as you would think.